Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. It's May 2nd as I'm reading these. And it's almost May 3rd. And I'm still not done with this cycle for the first half of May. Kicking my butt. I'm about halfway there though. So, hopefully by the end of the day on Sunday... I will have the cycle completed. I hope. We'll see what I can make happen. But, since I'm halfway there, Three of Pentacles popped out. We'll see if it pops back out. Cancer! Seven of Pentacles reversed. It's time for your reading for the first half of May. This reading will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if they, you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay. It's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every cancer. Check your moons, rising, or Venus sign readings as they come out if you feel so inclined. Or you can just forget you ever saw the reading altogether. It's up to you. Just keep in mind that time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. May play out from the perspective of a cross watcher, and cross watchers are welcome here too, because I love you guys. You guys are great. Little spies you are. I used to do it, so I can't judge anybody. Hell, I'll admit it, I still do it from time to time. So, anywho, two more shuffles for cancer, and we're going to get it done. And probably after this reading, I'm going to go to bed because I've been sitting here for an hour trying to do this. I keep getting interrupted. Cancer, why are you here? Hermit. Ah, uh, someone's... Possibly doing a little bit of introspection... Finding the inner light, trucking down a path, trying to figure stuff out. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Three of Swords. Either you feel like they're heartbroken about something or they broke your heart. You're the heartbroken one. Take it however it resonates. What do you think of them? Ace of Pentacles. You see them is your brand new start. Slow starter, but potential. This could be a good thing. What do you want from them? Hanging man. Accepting the fate of a situation. You think they're heartbroken. You see potential in them. Maybe they're the one in hermit mode doing some introspection right now because they're heartbroken. You want them to accept things. How do they feel about you? It wants. They think you're a great communicator. They also may think that you're trying to move a little bit too quickly. Take it over, resonates. If they're nursing a broken heart and they're in introspection mode, kind of, you know... Not quite sure what I want to do here. I have to think this through. Maybe that's why I think you're moving a little too quickly. Or feel like you're moving a little bit too quickly. What do they think? Magician reversed. Oh, they might think you're a little bit manipulative. And that's just the first thing that popped into my head. They might think you're trying to pull some strings. We'll get clarity on that. What do they want from you? Three of Wands, they want you to wait. <laughs> Only one card so far i got to clarify. That's good. Okay. What's the obstacle here? Five of Swords. Someone is still picking up pieces. The battle has just ended. We're, we're, we're halfway to the sun coming up. We're not there yet. Things are still in, like, change mode. What can be done? Justice. 
second card I'm gonna clarify. Balancing things out. Possibly a legal process that still needs to take place. Take it however it resonates. Projected outcome, eight of swords in the reverse. Things sorting themselves out. People coming out of that little cage of their own thoughts. These two cards, they're a lot alike. Whether they're inverted or up, you know, upright, they're a lot alike. The hermit is the good aspects of kind of being with your own thoughts. The Eight of Swords, upright or reversed, is kind of the bad aspect of that because there's introspection and thinking things through and taking the spiritual look at things and then there's just being in a cage of your own thoughts and paralyzed by them. But the outcome is coming out of that state. So, okay, let's get some clarity. Hopefully this will kind of be a short and sweet reading. I don't want to do that to you guys, can't you? Because I love you guys to pieces, but Mama's a little tired. Okay? Mama's tired. I've worked a lot the last couple of days, and I have two more days to work before I get a day off. So, hmm. Pardon me. Speaking of me yawning, Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for cancer, please? Am I clarifying? Why is the magician reversed here? Oh, you flipped quick. Four of Pentacles reversed. You're manipulative and you hold nothing back. Okay. That ties into being a, a strong communicator and trying to move too quickly. What the hell? Why is the Eight of Wands here? reversed. Hmm. Out of control. Vulnerable, needy, clingy. Okay. What the hell? Why is justice here? Knight of Cups. Somebody may need to express how they feel in in a loving manner. The Knight of Cups has a tendency to be non-committal, though. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. Nine of Cups, yes. We need to fill each other's cups in this instance. Apparently, someone is still nursing a broken heart. Someone is still in hermit mode. Someone still needs their time. Maybe you need to wait. Yes, I know you just want them to accept the fate of whatever has happened to them in the past and move forward. You want them to move forward with you because you see potential in this. But you're moving too fast. It could be flipped around. Don't get me wrong. I try to see things from all sides. 
but you need you need to go with the pace of the other person because that it's a very th fine line between throwing a band-aid on a wound and in a real relationship they don't want you to be a band-aid they need you to slow down as much as you want them to speed up no if you slow down a little bit they will pick up the pace with you does that make sense making sense okay good I'm making sense you need to fill the cups right now you need to be patient <clears throat> the 10th cup is coming it's coming all right all right let's get some advice Three of Pentacles in the reverse and the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. If you're too clingy or too needy or want too much or become a little bit too codependent, this is not going to come together. It's all about setting pace. Setting pace. If you don't set pace, it will grind to a halt. A couple more. You don't set pace. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse and the Six of Swords in the upright. I'm hearing if you don't want to put the work into the relationship and wait at the dock for them to be ready, they're just going to move on without you. That's what I'm hearing right now. Part of working on the relationship is putting the time into trying to beat each other's pace. Is that, is that making sense? I know I'm reiterating what I just said because I'm really, really tired, but that's what I'm hearing right now. You're not moving at the same pace. <clears throat> you need to try to pace yourselves. Two of Pentacles reversed and the five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles reversed. A little bit of numerology here. Two and five is seven. Seven is in patience. You have to be patient with this. If you try to force this, if you try to juggle this, somebody's going to end up getting left out in the cold. You have to exercise patience. A couple more. Magician in the upright, five of swords in the reversed. Okay. There's a magician in reverse right here. They think of you as being manipulative. You can manifest what you want out of this without trying to manipulate the situation. If you don't figure out how to almost nurse this into a healthy relationship, and you continue to be manipulative, communication is just going to get cut off and it's just going to be done for whoever needs to hear this. So pace yourselves, slow down, 
If you slow down, they will speed up and you will meet somewhere in the middle. Okay? That's what I needed to get out of that. Cancer, I'm exhausted. For whoever took a message out of this, bless you. Because this was a toughie. I'm going to go to bed, though. I love you guys to bits. You know that. Thanks for coming by. Um, we got the work week top and bottom coming up Sunday night or Monday morning. And probably either Tuesday or Thursday, we're going to do our Marseille special for all of the uh, bonus readings that we have to do. Because I know a lot of you guys have bonuses coming up and I want to get those caught up. So, good night. Much love. Be blessed. Mwah! I'll catch you later.